one and anybody who wants one can put it on their car. I brought extra so everybody can take one and drop it at Dano's spot. Okay. And so we're representing today our brother Dano, Dan Alive. I'm PC. I love you, man. We'll always miss you. And uh, here's to you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm in Huntington Beach. We have a dedication day here for Dan Alive. lights on in this car go look for the owner so this day is for Dan Alive rest in peace man my ultimate dream car So cool to have that sign up there for Dano. And his sign is out here also. Current's car right here. Man, that thing is spotless. Damn. And the car club is called HB Gavachos. <laughs> the owner was telling me that his uh, wife called him a bunch of uh, galachos or something like that <laughs> and um, it clicked like hey it should be Huntington Beach Galvachos Car Club Wow it's beautiful Thing is spotless. Damn. <laughs> Uber 39. Nice. Check that out. It's a car, alley cat. These are nice vehicles over here. It's right on, it's like right on Main Street. 64 King. body work right here man look at 
this one. Wow. They even have a, have a um, Cadillac pillow in the back. Sick. That's fucking sick. There's big perm over there. It's fucking to that nice black truck. So yeah, out here on Main and 12th Street. Main and 12th. Trying to keep steady, but <laughs> the other day my toe for some reason started swelling up. Man, so many cars over here. Got a buggy passing by. a nice 33 I like that it has some um, some red in the grill or the fins whatever you call those the vents I don't know but nice little accent right there I would love to have one of these Let's get this over here. All right, we have another uh, muscle car coming up behind me.
Ford. Some over here. An Oldsmobile. the stuff on alley cat right now. <laughs> oh, I and for Dano. I'm gonna anybody who wants one can put it on their car. I brought extra so everybody can take one and drop it at Dano's spot. Okay. And so we're representing today our brother Dano, Dan Alive. I'm PC. I love you man. We'll always miss you. And uh Here's to you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll grab one of those before later. Oh, beautiful. You know what we should have done? Someone should have a rose. This is like one of Daniel's favorite cars right here. Great story behind it. Yeah, he loved this thing. You, you got your phone out, right? Yeah, I got my okay. phone. Oh, I got to grab all this stuff, still. Check this out. Feel those wheels. Those tires. Paint job on there too. Love a GTO. Good old GTO. Mm. Mm. Nice lot of tacos over there. Gotta love cutting us out of tacos. Cutting us out of anything. Burritos. Mm. Make me a uh, Gana Saba fries. Yeah. Wicked 70. Oh, check this one out.
the thing is fucking badass. Can't really see inside, but I tell you, it's nice. job right here I seen this one at the um, the donut shop donut there looks Here, there's a game on PlayStation called uh, Driver, and the vehicle was one of these. <laughs> oh, more muscle showing up. Oh, it's Vic. What's up? <laughs> hey, it's Vic and Diablo and another homeboy in the back. Damn. Get back to this one right here. Look like snow cones or like or something. Damn, this thing is fucking bad. Let's finish on it. You just lift, I wish. Uber picked me up in this. Is that a motorcycle tank? As a cup holder? <laughs> this is fucking sick. <laughs> What's up? I should try that today. Oh no, it's all good, man. It's got chain. <laughs> Shit, check that out. Wow. It's got a. Uh, What is that? Oh, it's coins. Buffalo necklace. Thank you. 
like the same size, so we'll skip that point. It's got nice wheels though. It's got red stitching. Too much to paint. Oh, check that out. Check that out right here. <laughs> that is such a good idea. Wow. Classics. I like the birds on these. It's like an airplane. It's so shiny. No. See a little matching a cup in there. So shiny. see lost some lowriders out here. Oh, we'll check to see what was in there, underneath there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Louisiana. I just missed this. Check it out. Ten miles per gallon. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Slow on. Custom. Check this one coming out. Check this one out. Intimidating. windows look at all these windows look at that Damn. it's the first one I've ever seen in my life in person I've never seen this these in person holy shit oh damn It's a rack top. What I do is I feel the keg up and the company. I don't know much. <laughs> yeah, and I write that shit off every year well, for the last four it. years. Nobody said nothing. Well, because you haven't been audited yet. Yeah. <laughs> Makers right there, baby. Yeah. What's up, man? Hey, when are you going to put your jump seat in? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, not, I'm actually going to put an L. We'll take a picture of me. Do you post uh, the videos? Yeah. Alright, let me just get a picture of your shirt. Sure. No, no problem. <laughs> I, for, well, I, I forget video. sometimes. <laughs> people were asking, hey, is this someone going to video? And I said, I'm sure someone's going to take some good video. It's yeah. such a big deal. So. Yeah, I'll definitely be on there. Alright, which one's yours? Uh, I'm down around the corner. I'm the only guy with a surfboard on top. So go. But there's like 10 of it. Do you keep going? <laughs> <laughs> you keep driving around, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Are they going to hand out a reward for the <laughs> Most expensive one right here is the, the one with all the windows on top. Yeah, I've never seen one of those in person. Oh, I've seen them, but those are hard to find. Yeah, I've, that's that's the most expensive one. Yeah, all I bet. How many windows is that? I think it's the.
Hell yeah. Here we go. The one with the with the surfboard. He was asking if uh What's up? Was that in 4K? Yeah. <laughs> 4K. Mira atrás de ti. I like that 57. That's hard. Well, I got it from a guy who put it on a Craigslist. Uh, yeah, that one right there. Is that as good as can you ask? Uh, 54. Oh, I wish I had a 57. I know, I hear you every time. You're like, hey, there you go. We'll see you. <laughs> it's, it's never going to want to keep everything for themselves. Like I did right. the. Uh, Digital LED uh, tail right. hey, like bumpers front to back, um, yeah, alive, yeah. you know, right all the chrome and everything, and then um, get the fuel injection kit on it. It's got a ZZ4 right. motor. Uh, that made a big difference. Did the brake brakes up in the front. Thank you, homie G. Daniel was a brother of mine, man.
I said before, if Daniel was here, he would be giving me some details, but all I can say is, damn. Check this one out. <laughs> oh, shit. It's like Laker colors, too. Damn, that's sick. Dude up front. This is a cool little car. Two windows on top and a surfboard. Got some muscle patch in the background. Oh, look at this one, sick. Look at that. Custom paint. Nice. Would be soft, huh? MRT. to be out here to to um appreciate these cars man low rider muscle hot rod rat rod can't see inside this chance to take this take the city for all they've done for this community and how we support them tonight I don't know if it's because I asked but I said hey guys maybe we can get part of Main Street open up for for Dano and then this morning all of a sudden it's open and there's a banner up for Dano and so there's no other way better than we can honor Broski he used to tell me Broski one night we're gonna get over 100 cars you wait and see it's gonna happen and we're gonna have maybe a police escort and the police are gonna be here. And you know, I told everybody for a lifetime that he gave us memories of all of us, but now I realize that he was just giving us memories of him. He did a lifetime of filming in such a short time. And so, Broski, this is for you. Tommy, this is for you. SEC, 
is going to do what they committed to you. We held up our promise. We love you guys. We're going to roll out every year. We're going to give the whole car culture and the whole car community something to do every year. We're going to go to the youth shelter and give to Elsa. Instead of giving them five or six thousand dollars, I'm hoping we can take fifty grand every year to them and help those guys. It's been a dream of mine. They wrote us a big thank you card the other day, and I wish I could have it here tonight, but it's not with me. But it just all the little young boys at the shelter thanking us, and Dana was proud of that. And so we're going to honor Dano through the car club, SEC style, Tommy too. And this whole family that's here tonight, they're part of our family because they love Dano just like we did. So let me tell you guys something. We're going to give you guys something to do every year, I guarantee it. And with that being said, like I always say, Surf City Classics, 52 Wednesdays a year, get you some of this! Yeah! Yeah! Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Awesome, Brian. Thank you, guys. I love all you guys for being here. You too, bro. because he's going to start off with the national anthem. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Tom. Come here. So all you guys, all right, take your hats here. off, and let's be proud of our country. Tom. I don't think the American flag's up because Robert didn't put up for me, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I try to do everything, but we'll, we'll no, pretend no. the American flag's behind us, and we'll have Tom sing us in the uh, national anthem. Sing it, Tom. We love you. And we, yeah, come on up, Tom. I'll get you up there, baby. Really? Closely <laughs> can you see by the dawn's early light 
what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last year, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that a flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled the home of the brave. And I can tell by that round of applause that the queer community doesn't take a knee to the national anthem. No. We're proud of our country. And I want to take this moment to thank all my first responders and all those military people who put their lives on on for a country. It's because of you guys that we're free and get to do this kind of stuff. So all my military people, I want to take the time really quick and thank Dennis too really fast before I forget with the Military Veterans Association chopper here tonight. We got the Huey here, it's called the Lifesaver. Right. Dennis came down because he loved Dano. Dano was Dennis's family too. Dennis, we love you guys and we appreciate what you did. Um, with that being said, you know how we always like to start off the night in Sur City Classics. We like to have our ordained minister, Navy Danny, come down, who gets people married in the car club, who is with us 100% and he's the man and we want to introduce him tonight. Danny, come on up, baby. Hey, Danny. Yeah. Love you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. We're honored to have you here tonight. Thank you. We're gonna pray for young blood too, huh? Absolutely. Thank you. Um, it's a it's a real honor to be able to do this here with you guys. Uh, you know. Uh, there we go. Okay. It's just a real honor, you know, as um, being a. Uh, an individual here uh, with SEC and able to lead you guys in prayer is such a it's a huge thing and I just um, I, I want us all to bow our heads and get through this. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the love that you've given us. We thank you for this gathering of all these people who came together people who have this similar interest in, in, in cars, Father, and community, and, and friendship, Father, and family, and all gathered here to memorialize Dano and Tommy. Father, I just thank you for giving us the ability for us to be here and, and, and under your sky, Father. We thank you for the promises that you give us. We thank you for your grace we thank you for giving us strength and courage and just ability father to go on each day as we mourn the passing of two of our brothers lord 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 we just ask that you continue to to lead that path for us father that you just continue to look over us father bless us protect us and just guide us and lead us. Father, we pray for more brothers that we have who are fighting for their lives. Pray for Cody. We pray for Carlitos. We, we ask that you just be with them, Father, as they fight the fight, Father, as they, they just strive just to live another day, just to take another breath. We pray for all those, Father, who are going through their hardships, loss, health issues, whatever it may be, Lord, as we enter this new year of 2021. 
May you please just lead us, guide us, and give us strength and courage that we can get through this year, Father, in a loving way, in a manner that that glorifies you. We need to begin to, to look towards you for the answer, Lord. 2020 was so full of, of questions and so full of fear and so many things that we had to deal with, Father, that we just humbly, humbly take a knee, Father, and we ask that you please just lead us through this next year. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Right on, Danny. I just want to thank you, bro. You give me strength when I need it. You're a part of this family. You always will be. And you know, there's a lot of people here tonight from all over the place. Uh, we have a couple of car club brothers that came all the way from Kingman just to see Dano and to celebrate Tommy. They love Dano and Tommy. And you know, Tommy and Dano were best friends. And you can see it here. When Tommy was really sick, and he couldn't drive anymore. I don't know if you know about Tommy, but he had a bunch of extra keys. And his daughter thought he took the keys away from him, but he didn't. And I would get phone calls from people saying, Tommy's at Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he's at Donuts? He's driving this Corvette, he's at Donuts. And uh, <laughs> if you look at this group and what we are about, we're about family. We're a bunch of knuckleheads having fun always. We're one big family, one big group. And Tommy and Dano will want us to honor them today together. It's not easy, let me tell you. We did a lot for Tommy already. And tonight's for Dano, but it ends for And, you know, Tommy was like the mascot of the car club, wouldn't you guys say? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. With his cowboy hat oh, yeah. and how he rolled out. Oh, yeah. Just recently, I looked at the Longboard's uh, menu, and sure enough, there's Tommy in front of Longboard's in his 55 with his cowboy hat on and I would say Dana was our godfather he just loved all of us and with that being said I would like everybody to take off their hats and we're gonna have a moment of silence for Tommy and Dano for two minutes you guys now because you love Dano. SEC loves you guys and we're going to give you a little taste of what SEC does on a Wednesday night down here. So young bloods front and center. All my young bloods front and center. You guys know what it's all about. Come on down. Get up on the bench and let's show the community what Sur City Classic does with the young bloods. Let's make no mistake. This is our future generation. And we need to support them and make encourage them, and that's exactly what we do down here at SCC. These guys are our lifeline. We call them, we call them, uh, what did I call them uh, the other day? The little rascals. Um, I call them our game. That's it, our game. So, really quick, young guys, why are you up here tonight? Because night. So, on the count of three, I'm gonna let you guys start the night off the way we do it down here. One, two, three. I'll say it over and over again. It gets me no more pleasure to have these kids down here rolling around, causing trouble, doing what they do. And if you see a lot of them, they have their down Live hats on tonight. And to let you guys know, we're gonna start a Surf City Classics Young Blood channel. And it's gonna be for the Young Bloods to carry on Dano's legacy. We can't keep the Dano Live channel going. That's not what Dano would want. 
He whipped out the Young Bloods to start his own channel. So we're gonna start our own channel. Wes Nielsen and all of us are gonna get together and we're gonna give all you guys in the Hot Rock community who love Dano, we're gonna give you a little Dano Vision Young Blood style. <laughs> Dylan was a very, very important part and we'll get to that in a second. I'm getting off track here. I'm gonna get back to my notes. Right now, we have something that we need to do that we do every Wednesday night here. Jerry's our birthday guy and he calls me every Wednesday and tells me whose birthday's in the car club. And tonight, we're gonna sing happy birthday to two of our members because Daniel and Tommy would want it that way. And so, with that being said, it's Bruce Gary's birthday and Bernardo's birthday. So we just say SCC guys. So on the count of three, we're gonna sing them happy birthday. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cersei guys. Happy birthday to you. So I want to talk about the Sur City Classics family. And this week, the family stepped up. I had a lot of people call me this week all over the Hot Rock community. What can we do? What can we do? In the club, out of the club. And I told everybody, you guys got to do what your heart tells you. You got to do what your heart tells you. I, I, you can't get that from me. It's just too much. And everybody went together and they put this together. This is all volunteer stuff. No one told anybody what to do down here. That's not how we roll. Everybody does what they want and step up. And if you look at these guys, I have so many people here I can thank tonight. Big money, all kinds of people. But there's somebody I really want to thank that's special, that's always been in my side and has always got my back, and that's my wife. My wife helped me this week. I had a hard week, and she's been there for me. And she's down here tonight supporting our car club. So a round of applause to my wife. And then I also want to thank my daughter. It's her first cruise night ever. And she came down here to volunteer at the desk so she can get credits for school. <laughs> volunteer to help the youth shelter. So I love you, Daniela. And I'm so proud of you, Daniela. And the girl you become, I love you very much. A round of applause to my daughter. Yeah. It might be a little redundant tonight guys and you have to understand that I'm just grieving like you guys and I'm just put my pants on like everybody else but like I told you guys Dano and Tommy were our family and you guys will all come down here and honor him honor them but I want everybody to understand something when the cameras went off and Dano vision was off Dano hung his hat down here at Surf City Classics we were his family and I think all you guys know that but we were all his family but when the cameras were off Dano and Tommy were our family. We, we, we talked, we cried together, we prayed together, we goofed off together. They, they, I mean, Tommy was the first guy in the car club to ever get pulled over by HB Police Department. And he, and he says, where are you headed so fast? He says, it's cruise night, I wanna be first in line. <laughs> and if you don't know Tommy, he had an HB, uh, he had an Orange County Sheriff badge or LA County Sheriff and he just showed his badge and He's on his way. <laughs> we even get parking tickets down here with zero fines to City Classics. You know, and... Uh, a little louder, Brian. What, just a little louder? Okay. And when I say he was family to everyone, you guys, he was family to everyone from coast to coast, from Ventura to San Diego, and worldwide. I have people all over the world contacting us tonight about Dano. And also... Um, Like I said tonight too, you know, I have to slow down a little bit, pump the brakes, but you know, Dano created memories for all of us, a lifetime of memories. And I used to say, because I have friends that aren't with us anymore, and I used to say, Broski, you give us something that's so special that we get to watch our friends that aren't with us anymore, and I have that memory forever, and you created that, Broski. And I used to tell him, Broski, I can't tell you enough how much it means to me and what you do for the whole Hot Rock community. And I realize now that he wasn't giving memories of all of us. He was giving memories of Dano to us. He was creating memories, a lifetime for us to go back to his YouTube channel and enjoy what he did for us. And um, I want you guys to know tonight too, that our boy's a hero. If it wasn't for Dano at the street races he was at, there were some kids there. And if you watch his video, 
he runs away from the car, then he turns back into the car and shields the kids. The mom says for sure, if Dano wasn't there, the kids wouldn't be with us. I know, I know that we're never gonna stop street racing. That's not my pledge. My pledge to this group and for Surf City Classics, for Dano, our, our mission, is to teach these young bloods right here that street racing kills, and especially if they're not responsible. As the leader of this group, I would never have the young bloods go lay in the street and tell you to drive them over, drive over them. It's my responsibility to protect them. So what I'm telling all the street racers tonight, if you're doing some kind of event, you need to be responsible. If you're gonna drop the flags and you're gonna race, make sure no one's at the 600 foot. There you go. Yes. We're never gonna stop street racing. Absolutely. It's never gonna stop. It's a part of American culture, but we can be responsible. And that sounds like a knucklehead thing to say, but too many people have died and nothing's changing. That's right. So if you're gonna do this and you're gonna have your affiliation on it, don't drop the flag if you got kids down the street because you're putting their lives in your hands. Absolutely. I want to ask you all, have you ever been to a football game when the football team isn't playing? Never. No. So when you put a vent on and you have the spectators come, it's your responsibility that they're safe. 100%. Yep. Yeah. Brian. Brian. For the car club and the family's out of the hospital and they're home safe tonight with their family. All right. So, really quick, every year we're gonna do this for Dano, you guys, and I want you guys to all participate. I want you to come down here and let's raise money for the youth shelter. And next year we're gonna go to the youth shelter as a group and present that check, all of you guys. I want you guys to be a part of that. And um, I know right now that Dano and Tommy are very proud of all you guys and for what you did tonight. And um, Watch it. He's watching, that's for sure. Yeah, we got the other errands. The other errands, <laughs> double errands are here. Aaron, and I want to give this opportunity to have Aaron, double errands come up <laughs> and, and elect Tommy into the Hall of Fame for them. Probably hundreds of keys. We noticed that when we were going through his belongings. Um, this was his life, you guys were his life. The donut store was his life. Jack's Garage, I don't know if any of the guys from Jack's Garage came to this either, but um, he really did love you guys. And, and I can't thank you all enough for the drive-bys when he was on lockdown. It meant the world to him. And it was hard for him to see you guys drive away, um, but it was definitely worth the joy that it brought to his face when you guys showed up. Um, and for the people that work there too, it was really, really nice. Oh, thank you, Brian. I didn't get to sign it again, but I will. You know, uh, we always rolled out and picked up Tommy after he couldn't drive anymore. It, it really broke a lot of our hearts because Tommy was our mascot. So we would roll out and pick up Tommy on a Wednesday night all the time. I mean, there's a half a dozen of us would switch off and go That's pick him I mean. up. Yeah. I wanted to like specifically like Dominic and Jamie and Willie for fixing his car. I'm like, Willie, what do I do with this 55? I don't know what, like, what, how do I make it run? I just gotta get down to the show, like make it work. I got you, Aaron, I got you. Keep it running, don't worry. <laughs> yes, okay, good. <laughs> well, now the roadsters have trouble, so we'll be by soon. Yes, Johnny Martinez and Vaughn Hot Rod are doing a collaboration. And we're going to make Dano's Sweetest Ride Trophy within our car club. If you don't know about our car club, we have Member of the Month and Car of the Month. We give it out the last Wednesday of the month. And there are trophies that we take home, that we hang on our mantles, that we're proud to have because it's within the group. So, what we decided to do is make Dano's Sweetest Ride Trophy. And every middle of the month, we will have, on a Wednesday night, we will pick a car and we'll give that trophy to the guys in the car club. So all you guys can celebrate Dano's life and take it home with you and have that memory. And all you guys want to be a part of this car club, it's really simple. Fill out the email list, it doesn't cost you anything. And we'll put the emails out to you and we'll make you guys a part of the group and we can do this together and you can get that chance to win that trophy too. Um, really quick before I have Mike come up, I just wanted to, actually I'm gonna have Mike come up right now. Uh, I don't know if you guys don't know who Mike Posey is, but he's a city councilman. He used to be the former mayor of Huntington Beach, and he's in this car club, and he's our family. And because of Mike, 
I guarantee Main Street got open tonight and that flag up above the banner up above Lake Park has everything to do with this man. He's always been a part of this group and we love having him. So round of applause to Mike Posey. Thanks for having me here, Brian. I'm gonna to try to talk with my mask on. Um, I went up to the scene on the 27th and, and saw Heather and Tammy and Neville and some of the other guys up there. Yeah. And I uh, was deeply, deeply moved. Um, and on my way home, I called the city manager and I asked him, I said, hey, do you know who Dan is? He goes, well, yeah, of course, who doesn't? And I told him about, you know, Christmas Day and he'd heard about it. And I, this is when you guys were planning this cruise. And, and I said, well, let's, <coughs> let's do something to memorialize Dano. And the city manager and I came up with the idea of the banner. And the, the, the third block of Main Street opening up is coincidental. So, you know, we had we had some <laughs> other pressures too. This was, you know, we were able to accommodate, so. We know it's because of Dano, Mike. But, you know, you can see that Dano has a lot of friends, you know, not in the club. But Dano had a lot of friends, believe it or not, at City Hall. Um, everybody knows who he was because they saw his videos. They saw him with surfing, they saw him with community events, they saw him with the car club events, they saw him with Surf City Classic events. They saw him when he went to Malibu. Um, and everybody knew Dano, they knew his van. And I don't, I don't know, somebody posted on Facebook a couple days ago that whenever you see a white van, you do a double take. I, I swear, I did it today. I was on the Long Beach Freeway, I saw a white van, I go, oh shit, that's not Dano. But I wish it was. Um, so we did, the other thing that we wanted to do too is we have a proclamation or a commendation recognizing uh, Dano's contributions to the city, particularly to the, the car culture and surf culture. And it's, uh, it's over there somewhere and I'm going to leave it up to Brian. Uh, maybe you can hang it <coughs> in the future clubhouse or whatever. But it talks about Dano's life and it talks about the folly of street racing. I'm glad you brought this up to the Youngbloods. Um, because when I was growing up, I got that lecture too. Hey. 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 How about that? How about that? How about that? All right. Cool. So, young blood, you got everybody around you. What do you got to say? We know you've had a rough week, kid. I know you've been sad, young blood, and we love you. And you need to understand, there's no pressure on you. We're here for you, we're brothers and your sisters, and you can lean on us. And I know that Dano was so proud of you. I remember when I told Dano, I want you guys to all hear this story really quick. You see these Dano hats? I told Dano one day, I said, Dano, it seems to me that you would want the young guys to have your hats and run around. And he says, oh, Broski, he says, Dano hats are exclusive to Dano. <laughs> and I said, hey, Broski, I got news for you. If you want your YouTube channel to go through the roof, you want subscribers, we need to make young blood hats. Just for the young bloods, okay? We won't make them for the adults, we'll just make them for the young bloods. And he says, you know, Broski, that'll be good. And his quote was, and I, this was his quote, Dylan will be so jazzed to get a hat. <laughs> Brian, one more. All right. So we got Dylan a hat, and not only did we get him a hat, we got him a jacket, and we memorialized Dano's dates in it, and he's part of our group and part of our family. And young blood, you look like a badass. <laughs> so I got through the whole week. Every time I was sad, I'd go watch his video. So homie G, much love to your wife and you, and you're Thank part you. of this family now. you guys who want to come up at one at a time just really quick and say something about Dano and take this opportunity right now. All right everybody I came into the club in August with the 88 35th year anniversary edition Corvette and three weeks later this beautiful woman come rolling in a 62 red t-bird with a flower in her hair and I lived in Hawaii 30 years and I went, damn, that's for me. <laughs> and sure enough, I, Grow Master, I had to quarter. 
Your shoe was tough. <laughs> and uh, it went on for about a month. I asked her to the air show, which was there on October 4th. She went. The next day, she, she was there saying, do you mind if I spend the night? And I go, hell no. <laughs> hell no. She spent the night. We went the next day to the air show. She's been with me ever since. This is the most beautiful woman I've ever met. And Dano took pictures of our wedding. And this gentleman right here, so glad I was in the club. His father brought two wedding cakes. And Dano looked at me and he goes, Denny, you're crying. And I'm like, hell, I finally found somebody that could love me. And I grew up in HP and I'm so thankful I met her. Carrie, say something, honey. I'm so thankful that I came into this club, my first, my first club. I left my city in Long Beach, and I so we was got, welcome. We got you hitched. Yeah. 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 I don't know about that. He's one of the young guys in the car club. In the history of the car club, he won car of the month, the first month in the car club. So Max is a big dog down here. Uh, <laughs> Just the camaraderie and friendship that Big Firm and Dano have brought in so many close relationships. I mean, I have some of the dearest friends I've ever made, and Tommy and Dano, such dear friends. And I know Dano gave so much of himself to everybody. So to say I'm his friend, I'm just one of just many, many friends that just feel so privileged to have had him in my life. And it's funny because, you know, I met him about six years ago, and he was just a wonderful guy, and he's always been nothing but good people. And I just bought a bug here back in May, and he was so excited. You know, Big Firm, we went and got that Volkswagen. He was so excited to see that bug because he said, bro, he goes, you got a real hot rod there, man. You're pulling gears, you're pushing pedals, you know? And he loved that. And so I always loved the fact that Dano had that pure spirit about him. And I'm just glad to have been part of his life and, and to be a part of everybody's life today. Thank you, guys. God bless you guys. So we raised um, $3,000 to the new show. <laughs> maybe and not as long as all y'all but I just feel it I just feel it's kind of important to just let you know that uh, um, a week before Christmas Daniel asked Jesus into his life I was there I was the one that got to talk to him about God him and another guy that he had a beef with I brought them both together I just felt it and uh, they both hugged each other, shook hands with each other, and they both asked Jesus into their life. And I just think that's just a big deal. You know, because absent from the body, present with the Lord. And that's where I'm at. Amen. That's all. Everything. Everything. 
Bakersfield at the time and my house was in escrow and I was looking I had the hot rod and we were gonna move back to San Diego and uh, I was on YouTube or you know Google and just hot rods in certain areas and I liked Huntington I've been here before you know years before with you know my family and stuff and um, and so I saw Dano live and just started watching these videos and I knew all the cars I knew all the people and joined at that time HB Car Club before ever even moving down here. And then I had my little roadster and there were some, you know, high dollar cars at the time of that club and I was super timid to even like bring my car out. So I rolled out in my pickup truck, kind of got a little feel of, you know, the, the club and the scene. And then, you know, came out the next weekend in my roadster and parked. And the first person I met was Chris West. And I was like a 14-year-old girl at a Justin Bieber concert. <laughs> I went, I went, uh, wh uh wh 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 where's, who's Dan where's Dano? Where's Dano? And Chris like, oh, you want to see to meet Dano? Like, yeah, where's Dano? And Chris took me and they, you know, walked me over to the clubhouse at the time and uh, introduced me to Dano. And, and then just like, you know, just like anything, Dano just could just bring the best out of anybody. You could be in a slump. You could be whatever's going on in your life. And you see Dano, and he was always just, he just brought the good out of you and just was such a warm-hearted spirit. And uh, we became brothers after that. And, you know, I, I, he loved telling that story. It just, it was good for his ego, I think, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that was Dano. And, uh, you know, we're all here for you, brother. And, uh, and Tommy, too. Tommy was a great man. I love Tommy as well. And, and uh, I also just want to give a shout out to this guy right here. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I know he doesn't like it. We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for what this guy's done for years and years. It's a thankless job. But with him, his wife, and his family that support him, and then the brothers and sisters of this club, I mean, you guys are amazing people. This is just amazing. The vibe that is here right now is just awesome. And, you know, we're all one big family. And at, at the end of the day, we all became closer because of Dano and through this tragedy. And I take that and also warn my heart knowing that he was there for a reason. We didn't know what that reason was. And some people were not happy of, you know, him being there. But when it's all said and done, he was there for a reason. We can't be selfish on that. And he saved, I honestly think he saved more lives than the family that got hurt. You know, obviously when he turned, he probably went, oh no, you know, get out of the way. And many people scattered. Sadly, he probably could have went two feet one way and he would be here today, but that was not the plan of the man above. And God bless both of you guys. Right on, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. culture, about four years ago. And little by little, Dano went to the Mustang. Uh, car shows and he's there videotaping stuff and all of a sudden he's at the Shelby stuff videotaping there. So again, Dano invaded my world, which I was blessed. Uh, one of my things is doing selfies. Dano does selfies too and we all have our own little gimmicks of doing selfies. Generally Dano's is just his sunglasses and his hat. Mine's my mouth open and uh, uh, one year at the Grand National Roaster Show, Dan and myself were, were the first two inside the uh, facility to take pictures of the uh, Emperor. Of, 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 of all the calls, all the cars for, for, for the Ember Award. I forgot to take a selfie with Dano. And when I did my video of my three days there, he must have watched every second of it. Because the next time I saw him, he said, where's my selfie? <laughs> and to be honest with you, I didn't take a selfie that day with him. And uh, um, so that's about it. But God bless Daniel. Now, as far as Tommy, I didn't realize that Tommy's world is also in my world. There's a gentleman I met uh, about a year ago named Ron, who's a friend of my brother-in-law. And actually, Ron is Tommy's nephew. So uh, uh, we had long talks about Tommy and uh, as when he was a kid and seen some Uncle Tommy. That's about it.
What's up, buddy? What's up, what's up?